Hey, hey, Sammy Duke coming to you live from Precious Road Mobile Studios with another golden nugget. And this golden nugget is going to talk about debt today. Hey, are you a real estate investor trying to get your business off the ground, trying to figure out what strategies you want to employ? Are you trying to learn how to wholesale and other strategies that are out there? Uh, this platform is all designed about mentorship and coaching. Coaching and mentorship. This is not a platform of teaching you how to invest. Um, there's a number of other platforms out there doing that. This is all about coaching and mentorship. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about debt. So if you like to know how to apply debt or how not to apply debt to your real estate business, you should subscribe to this channel and also stay tuned. Sammy Duke, live from Precious World Studios, doing it again, dropping another golden nugget. Sammy Du, back at ya. And today we're talking about debt. What do we mean when we say debt? Well, that's simple. Basically borrow money so you can buy something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The very first real estate investing mistake that I made was taking my own personal cash and buying long-term buy and hold type assets. Um, and there was a few other mistakes that I made uh, going into that particular transaction, but uh, uh, I'm gonna just kind of stay in the, in, in the that I use my own cash. So for one, I would tell you, if you're trying to start your business and uh, you're trying to build your business, first of all, if you have money, keep your money first. And you need to partner with a mentor to kind of tell you which way you wanna go with it so you don't get your money tied up. Because once you buy something with your own money, that money's tied up. That money's tied up. So that means that, well, you want to go in what we call OPM, other people's money. Other people doesn't necessarily mean a person. It could be a, a financial institution, etc. But it also could mean a person. But here's the thing. When it comes to debt, uh, too often uh, there's a mindset of debt being bad. Well, what many folks don't know is there's a thing called good debt and there's a thing called bad debt. Bad debt is basically debt that you've taken that, uh, first of all, you're not getting anything out of it. You're not getting any type of, of, of you know, prosperity coming back to you. And secondly, the debt of what you may have bought is probably also a deteriorating versus appreciating. Uh, then there's what you call good debt. Good debt is debt that you're basically able to cash flow off of it. It's an asset, but you're also able to cash flow. And not only that, uh, it could also be appreciating and not deteriorating. So there's a big difference between the debts that are out there. Next, the next question would be, well, how do you go about getting the types of debt that you need? Well, first of all, you gotta make sure you have the right exit strategy or the right plan for what you're wanting to go into debt for. Uh, when I made my first purchase, I did not have an exit strategy. I just thought I'm a real estate investor, I'm supposed to buy stuff. And I bought wrong, the cash flow wasn't even, even close to what it should have been. And uh, the assets that I bought was in a very depreciating area uh, not up and coming, but actually falling apart. <laughs> and, uh, and I lost, lost all my money. It was about 50 grand uh, in cash money that, uh, that I lost in that. Uh, if I had done things differently, um, I would have taken that 50 grand and applied it to uh, some assets that I would have done from a short-term standpoint to get my money back plus some. I would have basically flipped my money. So when we talk about debt, it's one thing that, yes, you should be afraid of it, 
But then on the other side is, hey, there is a such thing as good debt and you should not be afraid of that. You just have to understand the difference and how to use it and how to go about it practically. So where do you get this kind of money from? Where this money is, you know, there's two categories of what we, what we call lens. There's two categories. There's one that uh, that's conventional, conventional being things like your conventional loans. You go to the bank, they look at your FICO score and they say you approved for X amount. Uh, there are other types of loans in real estate, FHA, um, uh, VA type loans, other type Fannie Mae, Fannie Mac type loans out there that you can get. Those loans are actually usually pretty good loans in the sense of low cost. Um, they usually will have some uh, you know, restrictions and uh, other requirements that before they actually uh, will lend. But um, those are usually pretty good loans, but it's generally going to be um, against your personal credit profile versus a business. It's gonna be usually against your personal credit profile. And if you're running a business, you really want to keep all transactions in the, in the business lane. It's very, 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 very tough while you're starting out, especially while you're starting out, to leverage your personal credit uh, for business because you never know what kind of things can happen. Uh, I know I was a victim of a medical situation uh, when I was kind of getting started and that kind of uh, derailed my activities uh, as far as being able to build my business, but also not only that, you want to have your personal credit profile for personal issues like that. And being that I had leveraged it for business, uh, it really, 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 really put a strain on my personal profile. Um, so you definitely want to uh, be mindful of what you're getting a loan for and what your exit strategy for that loan will be. And I would also say how much is that loan uh, going to be worth to you. Generally speaking on non-conventional, you're going to have lower interest rates. If you do some, uh, I'm sorry, on conventional loans, you're going to have lower interest rates. On non-conventional loans, there will be higher. Non-conventional loans would be things like a hard money lender, uh, which in my mind and my recommendation to you would be the ones that you want to avoid uh, as far as a last resort uh, option because they can be the most expensive. And I'll tell you, in this day and age, uh, with uh, the margins being slim in a number of different markets out there, hard money lending uh, is definitely going to be a little bit too expensive uh, for a lot of properties out there. The margins are slim. Uh, but you have, you know, other non-conventional options like private money from, you know, friends, family, folks you know. Uh, there are other folks out there that are just wanting to increase their, their, their the funds that they have and, be, and would be willing to uh, you know, lend it for real estate assets because they know that their money will be secure there. And so you want to uh, look for those different types of options and you obviously want to know how to negotiate it and how to, how to uh, um, you know, structure it and all of that. But before you even do that, you want to have a project and you want to have a plan. You don't want to be out there wasting people's time uh, when you don't have anything going on. So my suggestion to you uh, will be first, get you a lead, get you a, get you a prospect, get you someone that wants to talk to you about their property. And once you get that, let's look at the numbers and then analyze it and see what the best options are, what the best strategies are. If it's something that you want to go after private money or not, if it's something you want to go after conventional or not. Um, what those after exit strategies would be if you were uh, to go after uh, a, a loan for debt. But you definitely just don't want to uh, go into debt liberally uh, and, and you definitely don't want to have bad debt um, because that can obviously affect you from a personal standpoint. No one can, can put on your calendar the day that you're going to have a, a, a medical crisis or uh, some catastrophe happen at home that that needs to needs to involve your time and some money. You know, nobody can put that on the calendar. So you always want to be ready for that. Um, but debt is important. 
that is important and you want to know how to properly use it. So listen, I know there, real estate can be very uh, complicated and there's a lot of different angles to go. Um, I definitely strongly suggest if you don't have one that you definitely hire a mentor. Uh, I'm, I'm probably uh, uh, the, the, the least expenses you'll find only because I don't have and maintain a, a huge program for that because so I'm actually still a real estate doer myself and mentorship does take a lot of time and a lot of effort but uh, I will tell you this uh, uh, those that that uh, are under my mentorship gets me directly and not a salesperson and not some organization you get me directly and you get me very liberally uh, that's why I only handle a, a handful at a time so if uh, you're interested in a little bit more of information on how to go about debt and how to handle debt and uh, how to negotiate all of that and acquire it and all that kind of thing because you're trying to get your business going uh, feel free let's set up a 30-minute uh, consult you should see that in the link uh, somewhere around this video uh, like I said also subscribe because there are more than just uh, this particular golden nuggets that I do put out from a mentoring standpoint, but definitely uh, set up a 30 minute consult at the link. Get yourself booked on my calendar where we can spend a little bit of time together, as well as uh, even talk about how to have a longer term relationship with me. I do have uh, several uh, students, mentees across the country uh, in their various different capacities. Uh, that, I'm, that I do help out and uh, currently still have a little room for, for more as those positions continue to evolve. Uh, so listen, uh, debt could be good and it could be bad. It's just a matter of, of the strategy and what type of strategy you apply and what type of debt that you uh, incur. And the rule of thumb is if you go into debt, you want that debt to make you some money. <laughs> if you go into debt that's not making any money, that, that could have to be something that uh, you might want to reevaluate and reconsider to see if it's really, really worth it. So uh, listen again, subscribe to this channel, follow me. Please, uh, you know, submit a comment if you like this type of information and you like to hear more content like this. Uh, please let me know below. And until then, <laughs> Sammy Do, I'll see you at the top because the bottom sure is crowded. God bless.